We have more now on tonight's top story, the death of a Casey police officer. All around the area, we're seeing all kinds of tributes for Drew Barr. He was shot and killed over the weekend during a domestic call. Rachel Ripp has a recap of the officer's procession this afternoon in Lexington. Just a few hours ago, this entire intersection was completely closed off for a procession for Officer Barr of the KC Police Department. Local law enforcement agencies played a big role in his escort to a local funeral home, and several surrounding business employees came outside to pay their respects. Lights, sirens, and respect. Dozens of Lexington County residents and employees lined West Hospital Drive and Sunset Boulevard. This was all in honor of a fallen KC police officer, Drew Barr. He died over the weekend during a domestic call. We just felt like it would was the least that we could do was to be out here and show support for our local law enforcement. It was a really sad um, thing that happened. Even patients here for appointments at Lexington Medical Center waited the extra time to pay their respects. We knew that the procession was supposed to be coming by sometime today. And as seeing the traffic stop, I just wanted to stop and show my support, you know, for the men and women of law enforcement. At such a young age, doing what you love, you can be killed so selflessly. And it was very important for us to show our respect to him and his family and his fellow officers for us to be able to come out here and take five minutes of our day to stand there with our hand over our heart. And there were many other people up and down the road. Cars were stopped everywhere. An effortless act with a monumental meaning. Other law enforcement agencies a part of today's procession include North Myrtle Beach DPS, Horry County Sheriff's Department, and Horry County Police Department. Reporting in Lexington County, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. And we now have funeral information for Officer Barr. A visitation will take place Thursday afternoon from 3 to 445 at Batesburg Leesville High School. That's going to be followed by a memorial service at 5. The private grave size, a private graveside service will be held immediately following that service.